Sarah, my vlogging and Instagramming friend, is coming over with her daughter. And we're going to take some photos at our cafe, the Hepworth Cafe at the Hepworth Wakefield. And then we're going to have brunch and um, some crafts with the kids. And then I think we're just going to play. Hold an ambulance. Because yeah. Abby's putting got blood. Gerbil! You always lose a gerbil whenever you have a play date, you monkey. I know. She's still feeding. <laughs> Gotta get up, Abby. It'll be late. She's been feeding all night. Just done another live video on vlog Don't show Harry. I'm not showing Harry. <laughs> Um, just another live video of October. I, I want a fluffy unicorn. Now oh, it's sleepy time, praying for a better night. Whilst just, Jasmine just, writes just, her Christmas list. A box of her. In a load October. of boxes that I love. Harry, look at her. We finished school and nursery, but it's raining and the bus isn't coming. We've been waiting for ages. It's Friday. Friday, Jazz. <laughs> hiding under the umbrella <coughs> in the buggy <coughs> okay let's get home are we on the bus Harry? yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. what was it like at waiting 20 yeah, minutes yeah. 25 minutes for the bus jazz get down jazz hey everyone sorry you're a bit misty there um, my phone's soaking wet. We waited forever for the bus. Now, I really do encourage green travel and using public transport where possible. But today is one of those days where I feel fed up with it. When you're there stuck in the rain and buses are supposed to come every five to eight minutes. And they come at every half hour when it's raining and it's cold. So I'm just having a little moon. Anyway, we're lucky because we've got a nice warm home to come to. It's messy as as you can see in the background um, but it's warm and it's out of the rain so counting is blessings so to warm up after the rain the kids have insisted for nutella on toast and they didn't want the toast they just wanted the nutella but i said they had to have it on toast and now they've asked if they can do it themselves guys do you think they're having me on and they'll just spoon out the nutella or do they genuinely want to be independent and spread it on their toast? Do comment below. Hashtag parenting problems. <laughs> the king of rainy days. Although sadly I'm vegan so I can't eat it. Good morning everyone. Hope you're okay. It's Saturday. Hurrah the weekend. So it means no routine which I love. Um, but we have got plans, which is good. Um, Sarah, my vlogging and Instagramming friend, is coming over with her daughter. And we're going to take some photos at our cafe, the Hepworth Cafe at the Hepworth Wakefield. And then we're going to have brunch, um, some crafts with the kids. And then I think we're just going to play. So it sounds good. And I need to get on top of this messy old house. Honestly, I wish I could tidy up as I go along and I try but it just always looks like a bomb's hit it Anyway, hope you all having a good weekend by the time you see this it won't be the weekend But do comment below with what you got up to at the weekend. Take care. Bye So we're just gonna go into the Hepworth. Okay. So Bella's coming for breakfast with us, aren't you? Happy face, sad face, shocked face, scared face it's not fair. Really happy face. Excited. You love your mummy face. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> what are you going to have for brunch? What are you going to eat, Bella? Um, I, don't, I don't know because I don't know what's on the menu yet. 
true, true. Why don't you tell her where you're going soon with Alexander? So I think so I love it. Is it a big ball? So it's shiny, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow. Bella's found the best book in the cafe. joined us for brunch at the cafe. They've already been to McDonald's, don't tell anyone. And we're with Sarah and Bella. You'll recognise Sarah from my Turtle Bay vlog. She's a fellow vlogger and Instagrammer based in Wakefield. They got the Yorkshire Posse. Say hi Sarah. Jasmine's got the most nutella -y Nutella pancakes ever. So are you going to say to your make and move viewers what it tastes like? Oh. Sarah's like <laughs> got the king of breakfasts. A large Yorkshire pudding with a full English inside. If you get a chance to come to the Heffy Gallery, make sure you order the full English breakfast. This is unreal. I'm going to have to go to the gym. <laughs> Look at you, chocolate, chocolate monsters. I've gone for my fave, the full vegan. So we've come up to the gallery and me and Sarah are chilling whilst the girls do crafts as we both got food babies. <laughs> how, how did you find your Yorkshire pudding? Oh, it was so good that I'm like, now. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to lie down whilst the kids play in the art pod. What did you say? What have you drawn? <gasps> wow. What are you making? The dream catchers. Welcome to Make and Move with Jasmine and Ariana. Oh wow. Yeah, so we're making dream catches. Yeah, so we'll cut them out. That's a cool book. I'll do it. So you need to put holes into that and then you use the wall no, to tie I can't it on. Do it. I'll do it. Do it then. your favourite one, Bella? Yeah, I like rice cakes. <laughs> yeah, it's because it does <laughs> You like rice cakes, don't you? Don't stand further than the back line. So we've done the crafts, we've made our dream patches. 
and shadow puppets. And now we're going to do a proper real life shadow puppet. It's really dark in here, girls. <laughs> Oh, now you want to make a dog, eh? Oh, no! It doesn't make you feel a bit dizzy. Dancing. Do that a bit ago. This is how my Saturday nights now roll. Watching Tiana on YouTube, feeding and trying to clean. What you like? Eh, what well you got your tongue and you've been breastfeeding your monkey. What's that green stuff? Mango. Mango. Oh, mango. <laughs> so now have I got mango flavoured boobs? <laughs> See, this is my party life. Not a lot of glitz anymore, but I wouldn't change it for the world. The ambulance. Because Abby's paying got blood. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we had a bit of a dramatic night last night. Ari started um, vomiting blood um, and I was trying not to panic but because Ari was poorly as a baby where she nearly died and that started from a nosebleed and blood, um, I was panicking but I called 111 because um, I wasn't sure if it was an emergency um, and then they asked lots of questions and then they decided to call an ambulance and anyway 111 called an ambulance and then that set me into panic mode and Jasmine and Ari so we were all crying and panicky um, but the ambulance drivers were so lovely weren't they Yeah, they were so lovely, they calmed us all down. Girls, you left the cage open and now he's, the gerbils are scraped. I put the cage open. Where is the gerbil? He was here. <gasps> Me and Ari were just searching for him. Yeah. Gerbil! Shut the door! Oh, he's here! Mama, shut the door! He's under the sofa! Gerbil! <laughs> You always lose a gerbil whenever you have a play date, you monkey. I know. Gerbil. It's Harry's turn. It wasn't me. It's Harry's gerbil. It's not there. It's only gerbil. Phew, because somebody left that open, so he must have crawled out. And then me and Harry went, is he hiding the great one? And then we couldn't find him. And then we saw him on the floor. So I had to use this to finally scoop him up, put him back in. <laughs> It wasn't me, it was Jasmine and Charlotte. It was not to me. Yes, it was. What are you guys talking about? It's Todd. It's Todd. We shut the door. No. Yeah, but this door was open. We shut it. Somebody opened it. We shut it when... Um, oh, yeah. I think 
a gerbil might jump. Yeah, because, a, because the gerbil can climb up the wall and then on the and put his hands there and push the door open yeah. with his claws. Yeah, and then he might jump onto here, then stay. He can't jump onto it. Yes, he's time. He might have just ran onto here then. Um, run down here and then down there 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 and then must escape so the half fuck right at least he's back in now now gerbil stay but in your look, case but not he can't throw lot to not Anyhow, a long story short in terms of Ariana after the gerbil escape just then. But Ariana last night, so they um, got an ambulance and the ambulance drivers were so lovely. You looked like E.T., didn't you? With the pulse checker on and she was on the stretcher. They nearly put Jazz on the stretcher because Jazz was so upset. They thought it was Jazz who was poorly. Um, and it was just, oh my God, thank God for the NHS. They were just so nice, weren't they, the ambulance guys? Whilst I was panicking. And then luckily, when you got checked at the hospital, you were okay, weren't you? And then we waited quite a while, a long time. I was brave. You were very brave. Uh -uh. Um, and they, the doctor checked you and you're fine, aren't you? Yeah, they just think it might have been a virus or... Um, a really bad nosebleed, but sometimes it can come out your mouth. But it's always better to check, it, isn't it? Because it, it can be it sinister. Went, it went in my nose, then it went down here, and then it went in my mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah, but you're okay now, aren't you? Mama's just tearful today because I was really upset. Right, see you later.